everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Heike. This is, this is the tail end of my little furry assistant Lola, the ragdoll cat, and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Welcome back if you are a regular viewer of this channel who has been starved of any kind of content in the month of January, and welcome if you're new here. I have no idea how you found me because the YouTube algorithm pretty much has pronounced me dead by now, I think. But that is neither here nor there. We have a final review to do because I finished my All Dogs Go to Heaven diamond painting by Mandy Manzano and Diamond Art Club in January. And we are going to do a little deep dive into how I enjoyed this kit. All right, first up, it was a 52 by 73 centimeter painting with round diamonds, 31 colors, one of which was a B. The AB in this painting was white. Um, I'm going to show you the whole thing because right now you're looking at the upper three-thirds, half, something like that. So I'm going to show you the whole thing. And there it is. And now we are going to pull back to see her face and the little doggy because this is undoubtedly the most interesting part of the painting to look at. Yeah, so how did I enjoy working on this painting? Um, you know me, I'm a huge fan of Mandy Manzano's artwork and I love the quality of Diamond Art Club kits. I am a particular fan of rounds, so I usually don't have anything bad to say about the round diamond paintings and it's pretty much the same for this one. Um, I enjoyed the colors, I enjoyed the transitions, I enjoyed the canvas, the glue, the clarity of the symbols. Everything was just as always fun. The one thing I noticed with this painting um, that really the annoyed the bejesus out of me <laughs> was the the cover sheet would not let itself pull back from the glue. So I don't know what it was. It was really, really, really hard to pull back the cover sheet. Usually with Diamond Art Club it pulls back like butter. Um, you don't have to use any force whatsoever. This time not so much. So... Um, <clears throat> I have not checked back with them what this is about because this is a kit I bought in July um, 19. Uh, has been quite a while, so I'm I am suspecting there was some kind of issue with the cover paper. It was just very annoying. It didn't rip or anything, but I just don't want to pull on the cover paper like I pull my my, my non-existent sister's hair or something like that. <laughs> So that's that's the one negative thing I noticed. Um, everything else was just the same perfect quality I'm used to from Diamond Art Club. Yeah, what else can I say about this? Because these reviews about everything is perfect, everything is shiny, is uh, are very boring. Um, maybe if you're interested, how I did solve my cover paper problem because if you have been a long time watcher of this channel you know that I don't like the opaque cover paper that you get from Star Roar or multiple other shops out there. Um, I don't like to use that stuff. I don't know why it is not sticking at all to anything for me so whenever I try to use that it just falls off whenever I move the canvas. So I don't enjoy that stuff very much. I also don't use um, baking, non-stick baking paper anymore. Um, not that I found anything wrong with it as long as you use the correct type, but I just I just stopped using it. And I, I have um, white parchment paper. This stuff here, I got it from Amazon once. It doesn't even have a brand, so, well, I guess this is a brand. I'm not entirely sure. Works also fine, but I just don't bother any longer. Um, for a while, I used to use the oil slick paper that um, Christina from Rainy Day Diamond sent me. But I've pretty much used the sheets that I had so many times now that they are no longer usable for me. <laughs> so, um, And I did never buy more because it was not so easy to get here for me in Germany. There's one shop and um, 
I have to buy a big pack for 25 euros or something like that. So I never, never did that. But what I found recently on AliExpress um, was clear cover film on a roll. Um, they sell that in 12 inch width and um, you can decide if you want three meters or five meters I think I think it usually is is the um, the length that comes on and I, I decided to try that and it works heavenly it's it's the thick kind of um, cover paper that Diamond Art Club uses now for their newest canvases it is very um, very slick and it came off like butter like I was used to so that's that's what I went with after this had annoyed me so so much <laughs> so did I make any changes to the canvas yes slight ones so um, you can see all these little bubbles here in the background some of them were charted in AB diamonds and, and some weren't so I made them all AB diamonds there are also two circles, the one here. I think you can see it a little bit that these are not completely white, but look a little bit pink on camera. So I was supposed to use the white here and I used the AB and the same I did over here. Here's another small one, which you probably can't see. I'm going to try and take photos and insert them. Um, I used the AB there as well. And then she has this gem on her dress here, um, which I also did in AB Diamonds. But this is the only change I made. Um, her skin is a little bit like one of the mermaids on Friends of the Maiden, a friend of the maidens. Um, they used this a stark white for her skin, and um, I left it like that because I didn't want to pull out my other um, my other leftover drills to use a skin color. But I think it actually. It actually looks a lot more like the original than that mermaid did, so I'm I'm okay with that. She's an angel after all. She is not not a human being. So yeah, that's that's how I enjoyed working on this. I have literally no complaints. And as far as leftover drills, I have plenty, plenty of leftover drills. I mean, we are by now used to that, aren't we? This is all the 310 I have left. There was a ton of 310 in this painting. Um, this is all the leftover AB I have. Like I said, I made quite a few adjustments and added a lot more than I was supposed to. So not as much leftover AB as we are usually used to, but still fine. It was still more than enough. So here are all the other... Yeah, what am I doing? Huh? What am I doing? When you do that, I'm annoyed with you. <laughs> so these are all the leftover drills. And then we have trash. This is all the trash I had in this painting. Uh, trash and stragglers. Um, as you might know, sometimes I find, after I have diamond painted, I find loose diamonds on my desk and I don't bother um, trying to find which tray they came from. I just throw them away. So. There are quite a few stragglers in here. The black are usually trash and the uh, AB are usually trash. And all the rest might actually be stragglers, except for a few maybe. But this was pretty good. Uh, no complaints for a painting this size. This is not a whole lot of trash. Yeah, so that's all I have. I can't think of anything else to say about this painting. I love it. It uh, looks beautiful and I think if you have or had a dog in your life, um, <clears throat> especially if that dog is no longer with you, I think this is a wonderful tribute painting if you're interested in that kind of thing. I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoy your day, you enjoy your week and I hope I will be back very, very soon. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. Bye bye.